Hello all, uh, the practitioner here, Bachelor of Science student, Chemistry major, Mathematics minor, Magician, Parapsych researcher, Technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, you know, um, this is going to be my first official rant. Um, I may have inadvertently ranted on a few areas, uh, you know, going a little too emotional on various different subjects, but um, this one's just kind of my thoughts overall on skepticism and where we're actually at right now. Um, you know, um, I got a couple of messages um, a while back that um, I got a couple of me uh, a message uh, um, last night from uh, a good friend of mine, MindFreak41966, who uh, stated that Penn uh, Gillette in one of his most recent videos called Predicting Only Goes One Way, um, as well as in the show Bullshit, uh, did an unfair, well, actually that's my opinion, but anyway, um, in, the, uh, in the video, uh, uh, Pendulet goes on talking about prediction and psi phenomena, and he gave a uh, rather unfair treatment of remote viewing, apparently. So I went and looked, took a look at his video, and then I posted a response to him, um, basically saying, like, you know, there's, you know, I, I took a look at it, and I took a look at his show Bullshit, and the thing I found about a lot of this stuff is that, um, you know, I hate to say it, but the, um, Ray Hyman uh, once stated that uh, the only reason that he was still involved in, criti in criticizing parapsychology is because of the fact that he didn't particularly find it interesting, but he didn't figure that there was anyone competent enough to who he could pass on the mantle to because of the fact that um, the bulk of, he said that the bulk of popular argument has become straw people. Um, you know, well, I could think of not just straw people, but there was be there's been ridicule, there's been a lot of vague statements which have been... Um, you know, covered in this. But the thing is, which bugs the crap out of me about this is the fact that, um, you know, Penn and Teller, uh, um, in their show Bullshit, have done something before that um, no other skeptical show has actually done. And what they've done is they tried to uh, they tried to tackle not just parapsych and areas of which are their expertise, but they tried to go on further and actually uh, debunk anything that they saw as bullshit. And, um, you know, and the thing is, it, it I do agree that we do need new innovation in terms of skepticism. The problem is, though, like any pioneers, they have screwed up, and I've posted a video on crackle.com. Uh, if you go look up the practitioner and look up my token video there, uh, you'll find my uh, my criticisms of uh, uh, Pendulet's show and uh, strong recommendations as to how he could improve. But that's just my note. Um, I guess my overall concern is the... Um, you know, is the fact that we're not doing enough as skeptics, and the fact that on top of the fact that we're not doing enough, we're not going in depth enough in detail on a lot of these areas. Um, one prominent example of this was uh, back during the whole uh, time when the uh, third IPCC report had come out. This was back in 2006. Um, global warming was a really hot button topic at this particular time because they had said that, you know, that even the news was saying, you know, beyond 95% proven, global warming is here. And I'm going, you know, the evidence has been around for a lot longer than that. The only difference is that we just simply haven't had as great a degree of probability. Uh, you know, it's just down around 95% uh, as opposed to the 95% confidence interval. But, you know, even with that, I mean, the point is that, you know, the. And then there was this whole debate, you know, after it came out, like, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, global warming skeptics raised their head and said, no, it's a natural phenomenon, there's no way we could be contributing to it. And there's been all this controversy, so I decided, you know, okay, both sides at the popular level don't seem to be doing anything about this. I brought up uh, a video of mine called Global Warming, the look at the science behind it, uh, where I actually explained some of the physical laws going into it, um, you know, how to calculate... Um, you know, how to calculate back from parts per million by volume to, uh, you know, to moles, and then from moles, you know, take the molar energy um, based on infrared absorption. You know, like, I tried to explain to people how this actually works, and then connected it through the connect kinetic molecular theory of gas to the universal gas laws to, uh, you see where I'm going with this. Like, there's a certain chain of events which causes, you know, the, uh, the environmental effects that we're looking at, and the CO2 reaction that we've put up there speeds up an already existing system, you know, to this sort of deal. Um, if in case you're wondering why I might be in the screen, I've accidentally spat on the screen <laughs> quite a few times. Uh, but, you know, you get my point. It's, um... <sighs> the thing is what bugs the crap out of me is the fact that, um, you know, yes, there is need for innovation. But I think the thing is that the innovation that goes there in terms of new skeptical uh, shows and the like doesn't go far enough. You know, what we need is we need competent skepticism, not just at the top levels where, uh, you know, in peer-reviewed literature where Ray Hyman and, uh, you know, and, uh, and Michael Shermer, and, uh, I, mean, I mean, Michael Shermer is a popularist, but he does go a bit more in-depth than, uh, than his cohorts, like Randy does, or, 
Uh, I mean, even Randy, when he does his explanations, they used to be in-depth, but, you know, he's kind of lost it to a certain extent. Like, you know, he'll just give a general, um, is a general popularized argument. Shermer goes into, you know, uh, you know, after Flim Flam, Randy, you know, and a couple of uh, Randy's other books, you know, it's kind of gone downhill from there. Shermer, on the other hand, is still up to date on a lot of this uh, popular work. I mean, like, you know, he does what, um, you know, he does what Hyman does at the peer review literature and takes it to a popular level. I mean, like, you know, that's why I can respect Shermer. You know, but... You know, Penn and Teller, they've, you know, like like what Randy's doing now. They, you know, it's it's become a, you know, it's become an appeal to the lowest common denominator to try to get the audience in. And if you're preaching to the converted, the bulk of them may have some idea of the data, but you know, um, they may not necessarily be interested in constantly keeping a, an eye out on the peer-reviewed data. And if you're trying to convert new people, well, then you're just giving them simplistic arguments, and they're not going to get the proper area. Of science, you know, they're not gonna. It's not gonna encourage them to actually go look at the science for any of this stuff. You know, I mean, when I took a look at the environmental, um, when I took a look at the environmental and the ESP episodes of global, uh, you know, or the alternative medicine, they just simply did a debunk based on what a few experts said, and uh, you know, and and the stuff that they were saying was right, but they didn't give people a an idea of where to go look at it. They just simply said, so believe this because, you know, we've shown experts and in the end this is what, you know, since we've come to this conclusion, if you're logical, you'll come to this conclusion too. Uh, I'm, I'm not intending to straw man them, but that's effectively how it came across to me. Uh, you know, that may not be, be what they were trying to convey, but that's effectively how it came across to me. So it's sort of like, you know, in the end, this is the, you know, this is our belief and this is our conclusion. And I'm going, well, I can get that, but, you know, you didn't really present your case, you know, you, you've only presented your case in a popularist argument. And, you know, there's a lot of questions that can come up. Well, what about this and this and this, you know? And, you know, I think that skepticism requires a new generation of people to step up to the plate. You know, young people, such as you and I. Um, you know, to go out there and not only just give the standard um, popular arguments that have been given for the better part of a century and a half now, both on parapsychology and on, you know, and, you know, the same standard, you know, hype arguments that we keep hearing, you know, regurgitated by, you know, by, by experts and authorities in an area, we should be going and taking a look and, you know, if an if we see an argument, and if we get the questions raised, or if we see an argument, and we see like, okay, that sounds good, then we should go and look further into the details to better understand how the processes work. Carl Sagan, back in the late 1990s, said that one of the, uh, or was it the late 1980s, said that one of the biggest concerns about the general public is that they have a lack of understanding of science or how it actually works in our society, like, you know, the, uh, like a proper uh, scientific understanding. Well, you know, the National Science Foundation still uh, holds that position, you know, concerns in the public, and, you know, uh, greater, great amounts of skeptical organizations. I mean, we wouldn't have the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry still working right now if, um, oh, sorry, something in my mouth, the hair. Uh, you know, we wouldn't still be working on, the, you know, uh, this. You know, we wouldn't be having the Skeptic Society and the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry and the James Randi Educational Foundation it, um, still doing their work if um, there weren't an adequate level of scientific understa you know, understanding of science and how science works and everything in our society. But the problem is, though, is that by maintaining the popular level of argument, um, you know, if people are just staying at that popular level or if there's not... If we could provide some encouragement amongst the, you know, you know, this is my appeal to Randy, to to uh, to Penn and Teller, to you know, to to old style level of skeptics, encourage people to actually go out and read the data for themselves, and then to make up their own minds. You know, give them the basics, give them why you think the way you do, go into in depth a little bit, and you know, and then give them a little bit of a of incentive to to go look at more and study it for themselves. You know, if we're worried about popular, if we're worried about um. About science, you know, about understanding of science, or you know, understanding of how science works and the like. We can't be just keeping things at the bare, at the bare basic lowest common denominator level, because without technical in depth, uh, no, you know, without uh, introducing them a little bit to technical in depth knowledge to, you know, in, uh, entice them to look at more, you know, in the technical details, then how are they actually going to understand how the science works beyond the popular level if we're not giving them the data or the encouraging them to go look at it beyond a popular level? I mean, you know. You know, if there's a scientific illiteracy, um, if we don't encourage, you know, if we don't try to encourage, uh, you know, critical reasoning and, uh, and more importantly, going and, you know, researching the data on your own or trying to find, you know, the best level arguments possible and the most in-depth level arguments possible, how are we going to, um, you know, how are people going to understand the science uh, beyond a pop, you know, uh, you know at the levels that we want them to? You know, it's sort of like we're we're you know we're we're uh, we're lauding this one thing over here, but at the same time we're just uh, we're just pandering to their le to their level of understanding, saying, oh, well, they can't understand anymore. And it's sort of like, well, you know, we've got to entice. You know, yes, we have to try to get them. You know, yes, may I be I have been wrong by doing a little bit technical detail. 
Uh, you know, and I should have done a popular argument, say, for example, on global warming or parasite or anything like that. But at the same time, I'm trying to give technicals to encourage people to start trying to read more. It's why I prov pres provide uh, links in uh, quite a few of my videos in the summaries. I'll, I'll be continuing more in the next video because I'm not finished yet.